All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to discuss how do you make a credit wire. I want a credit wire. I want you to do what it's going to do. How do I make a credit wire the way I want to make a credit wire? So first of all, I'm going to show you what a credit wire looks like in real life. Here is um, if you go to a uh, electronic store and say, I want a resistor. This is what they look like. They look like a little piece of plastic between two wires right there. And if you see that, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that item right there. Okay. And the little number, little uh, lines on the outside tell you how much resistance this thing has. All right. So why make it? Because this changes the amount of current going through your battery, coming from your battery, going to whatever surface. So for example, in some cases, you want to reduce it. So you just put these resistors in the way. In some cases, you actually want it to do something. In this case, this particular resistor makes heat. It gets hot. If I attach this directly to the battery, it will eventually get on fire. I don't really want to do that right now because I only have a couple of good resistors left to my name. All right, so let's talk about how you would make, if I had to design a resistor, how would I go about that? So here I am getting ready to make a resistor. You're handing in your resistor. What's going to happen here is this. Let's say I have a wire. Let's see if I find a pen. Here's a wire coming in. It's coming in from the side. Another wire over here. What would make it hard, better able to resist things? Well, if one thing, the farther apart these things are, like if, if, if the resistor only has to go this far, those are two terrible wires. The resistor only goes this far, it's going to be weaker than a resistor that has to go. Man. <laughs> uh, drawing skills with a tablet, not something I apparently have yet. Okay, so, or ever. Um, so, this is longer distance. So, this longer length makes it harder to get through there, right? Because I have to go through more stuff. More credit wire means more slowed down, right? Which means I extract more energy, which is nice. I wanted to extract more energy. The second thing is this. If I, and this is a little less obvious, that is, what happens if my resistor looks like this versus looks like this? What happens then? Well, if I'm a happy-go-lucky electron, I get jumped out of here with a bunch of other electrons. I'm really close to the electrons. I don't like that. So I'm narrow it. I'm narrowing my, where I can run to. I don't have multiple paths, so we're all kind of jammed in together, and electrons don't like each other, so that doesn't work nearly as well as if I have the same thing and I have lots of space to spread out. And so we call this surface area because if you turn this like that, you would see that it would be this way, right, as you go into the resistor, right, as I'm going through the resistor towards inside the, the screen, okay, I have more area than this one here, which would be a small area, right? So we call this area. There's one last, and this one's usually pretty obvious, one last thing determines how resistive a, re a resistor is, and that is what it's made out of, right? You make it out of rubber, it's going to stop you cold. You make it out of, of uh, a wire, or you make it out of um, like a semiconductor, it doesn't stop you nearly as much, right? And so my equation for resistivity is going to be as follows. That's okay, first of all, the uh, equation is going to be R equals, R is in ohms, right? It's our old friend ohms, that's resistance, is equal to rho L over A, okay? Rho L over A. So that's my resistivity times the length of the resistor, which we're going to measure in meters, as we always measure lengths. And this is area, which is going to be measured in square meters. All right, and so that's how we find the resistance of a or of a resistor that we're making in a lab or some such thing. Okay, all righty then. So let me. So next up, I want you to do problem number eight on nine six. Right. So I actually do one through seven. So now I want you to do problem number eight, which is a resistivity problem. So go ahead and try that one out. Um, I pause the video and I will show you how to do it in just a moment.
Okay, hopefully you paused. You, you did problem number eight. Here is problem number eight. The resistor above was a point oh oh two meter, resistor above being a one ohm resistor uh, ohm resistor by point oh oh three oh oh meter by point one oh oh meter long, and the wires were attached on opposite sides of the length. What was the resistivity of the material the resistor the resistor is made of? Okay, said that badly, but in any event. Um, now, what's interesting about this is most resistors are cylinders, but apparently this one happens to be a... Wow, I drew that really badly. Let's see if I can draw a better three-dimensional solid. There we go. Uh, yeah, my drawing skills are down from yesterday. Okay, and I attach a wire in this side. I got a wire coming out of the back side. Okay, and I want to know what the resistive... What, I want to know what the resistivity of the material is. Okay, so I'm going to whip out my formula. R equals rho L over A. Uh, so R, according to the previous problem, is 100. Resistivity, I don't know. The length of the uh, resistor is 0.1. And the area, well, the area is the two dimensions here. Now, again, most of the time this is going to be a circle. So when you do this problem uh, in the future, it's going to be a circle. This side over here is 0 0.003. You know the area of circle formula is? pi r squared, right? All right, so the area of this thing would be 0 0.002 times 0 0.003. And I get 6 times 10 to the negative 6. So I put a 6 times 10 to the negative 6. So now I do a little bit of work, right? I'm going to move that over here. Multiply both sides of 6 times 10 to the negative 6. I get 6 times 10 to the negative 4th equals 0.1 times rho. Move the 0.1 over, and I get 6 times 10 to the, if I divide by 0 0.1, negative Oop, uh, yeah, negative third, or 6.00 probably. And negative third is my resistivity. All right, so that would be resistivity. Units for resistivity, in spite of the fact where it says something wrong on number, uh, on number, uh, on uh, number nine, uh, it's ohm meters, okay? It says ohms per meters on number nine. Please switch that to ohm meters. And the same thing for number 10 says ohm meters, ohms per meter, it should be ohm meters. Okay, so try that out. Remember, a cylinder has for an area a circle, and that's going to be pi r squared for doing those problems for 9 and 10. So you should be able to do number problems 9 and 10. I'll at least have one of you guys do at least one of those for us. And then, uh, again, if we have questions, whatever, drop things in, send me notes. Got it. All right. I uh, will see you on the other side.